Have your own. Come on, jump up next to me. I'll, I'll give you a dollar. I'll pay you a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Okay, <laughs> well, today I'm with Adventures with Rosie and their family. <laughs> We're a family of five and we travel around on the weekends in our caravan, Rosie. Yeah, I'm Bronson. This is Chelsea. Our kids that you just saw, uh, Piper, Ruby and Harvey. <laughs> um, and we've just decided in the last few months to go full time on the road. So we're a month away from packing up everything, putting it in a small space and uh, leaving <laughs> for a year. You want to wind the legs down? Yeah. Here you go. We the legs rolling. So I've been following Adventures with Rosie for a while. There's not many of us in New Zealand doing RV YouTube channels. <laughs> uh, so it's great to finally have an interview with you guys. Um, you did meet them briefly in Raglan earlier this year. What I think is really interesting about you guys as well is you have had experience with a bus, a motorhome, and now a caravan. So what are some of the pros and cons with each vehicle and why did you settle on a caravan for full time? Uh, well the kids were a big deciding factor for us when we got the bus. We were pregnant with Harvey so we didn't really know what to expect and well, it had a bed that we had to make up every day and we had to take the dining table out to get the car seat in and it just wasn't practical once he came along. I think we had it for maybe six months after he was born. Yeah, I think we underestimated how much stuff we had to take away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the push chair and all that sort of thing and there was no external storage on yeah. the bus and no lockers or anything. So sure. yeah. it was all inside with us. <laughs> yeah. So we went to the motorhome then and thought, oh, well, it's... You know, for birth we had enough room for two car seats if we had a second child. <laughs> and then the twins came along and yeah. just threw Surprise. that all out the window. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so then we were thinking we'd get a six birth of the same thing, but then you've got three car seats taking up all your living space. Nice. And yeah, it just wasn't wasn't practical so And price jumps a lot. Yes. I yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to the motorhome show up in Auckland and weren't planning on looking at caravans at all. I don't know why we hadn't even considered it. And we saw the bunk one and we thought, oh, that could work. Yeah. And then it solved a car seat problem. Mm. And then you've also got a car for travelling around in during the day yeah. if you need it. Extra storage yeah. place. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And and a lot cheaper than motorhomes. Yeah. And mm. it was just a no-brainer from that point. And having your fixed bed, dining area, yeah. and yeah. yeah, their own space. Yeah. And less running costs as well, I guess, you know, like cheaper yeah, yeah. to register mm. a yeah. caravan. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> COFs and that sort of thing. Yeah. We'd never, ever thought about a caravan, though, for some oh, reason. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, we liked the motorhome and the bus, and yeah. we just thought, yeah. why would you get a caravan, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But I kind of, uh, there's pros and cons. I think a caravan's yeah. definitely slower travel. Mm. So if you're, you know, just doing the weekends, yeah. it's maybe easier with a motorhome. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, I think we found like when we just had Harvey, we would um, when we just had Harvey, we would travel every day. But, mm. It's definitely a slower lifestyle anyway with kids, so yeah, yeah, true. So it suits yeah. having a caravan. Yeah. It's just, it just seems now we're more yeah, travel and then stay somewhere for a while rather mm. yeah. than Basically traveling so. every morning. Yeah. 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 I find I go from. Campground A to Campground B and then explore yeah, exactly. from there exactly. instead of like sometimes I'll drive along and I'm like, oh that looks interesting and then I can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's definitely pros and cons, but for us at this stage in our lives, the caravan is the one so much easier. Yeah. 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 And we had a smaller car before as well that we weren't gonna get all three car seats across oh, the right. back end, so we oh, had yeah, to true. upgrade our car anyway, so it was like, oh we, we kept one towing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
that was a challenge in itself actually getting one where you could fit three car seats and wow, get towing. Right. Yeah, true. Because most of the big towing vehicles, like the Ford Rangers that you mm. get, they don't have enough room in the back seat to okay. get three car seats across. Yeah, so not think of was, that. Yeah, that was <laughs> the other challenges. Yeah, yeah. 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 Huh? yeah. <laughs> so this uh, caravan has an east-west bed, it's just slightly smaller than a queen, um, so pretty cosy. But we got the east-west because um, uh, these kids often play up here a lot and there's kind of less room for them to fall off basically. Um, there is an island bed model of this caravan, um, but it's quite nice to just be able to throw the kids up here, um, change them up here, get them dressed and that sort of thing, and um, it turns into a bit of a play area during the day, but yeah, pretty pretty cozy little bit but it's pretty comfortable. Is there a storage underneath or behind the pillows there? Um, I'll show you underneath if you want. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's storage in behind, there's a hammer there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a bit of storage there and uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Capturing family life here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so a bit of storage in behind the, um, the pillows here and a bit of a shelf which is nice for like cups of tea and that sort of thing. Um, light switches here, this off button turns all the lights in the caravan off which is terrible when you have small children. Um, I guess the idea is you hop in bed and turn it off but they like to turn that off all the time. <laughs> um, there's not actually a lot of storage under the bed, it's um, most of the electronics for the um, caravan, the batteries. There's a drawer there for some pots and pans and um, also the external storage goes through the boots and not a lot of space under the bed. So another thing we quite liked about the caravan was um, the option for the L-shape uh, dinette instead of the booth because we can kind of squeeze the kids in between us basically. Um, we also got the kind of fake leather instead of the material just because it gets pretty grubby in here pretty quick. Uh, and this table does um, sort of swivel around. It can you can sit either side of it like that, or um, kind of wedge the kids in when they're eating. So it works quite well. <laughs> this is the kitchen. So we don't have heaps of bench space, but we tend to use the dining table a little bit as well when we're making meals. Um, we've got a gas cooktop, stove, and oven rubbish bin and things in there and then all of our kitchen bits and pieces. This, the pantry in here we've put some baskets in to store the food a bit better. It's not so easy to get things in and out of um, but it does the trick for now. We might look at getting some sliding shelves put in there at some point. So we got the full size fridge freezer because when there's five of us in here we go through a lot of food. Um, and we definitely needed the space as we found in the motorhome but there was just not enough room even for three of us for food. We took the microwave out just to have another shelf of usable space for food. Um, I think we used it once in the year that we have had the caravan, we used it once so it just was wasted space. The ladder to get up. You prefer to use the ladder? Yeah, to get up to here. Why don't you go right up to your bunk? <laughs> Why? Because then you can get a little shot of you climbing up your ladder. Okay. <laughs> 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 All the kids want to be in the back with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so this uh, caravan is the three bunk model. They come in like a three or a, or a two, but we opted for the three. Harvey sleeps up the top. Um, both girls sleep in the middle currently. They just sleep head to head in the middle bunk. Uh, we installed some uh, bunk netting here as well um, to keep them from rolling out. And the bottom bunk we call the rumpus room. And that's where all three kids play. the books, toys, all sorts of things down there. Um, each bunk's got its own little window and curtains and everything. Quite nice little spaces for these ones. So one thing we have to do now before we travel anywhere is check these windows because these kids love playing with these latches. And we've pulled off before and looked in the rear vision mirror and seen these windows open. So um, I'm not quite sure what would happen if we drove down the road with these open. <laughs> Might rip off. And who plays with them all the time? <laughs> you play with them all the time. <laughs> you play with them all the time. One thing we are quite spoilt with in this caravan is we have a separate shower and, and toilet. Um, our previous 
uh, RV and our bus both had the shower over the toilet, which worked for two of us, but showering the kids and things in a separate shower is quite um, it's quite handy, really. Um, so yeah, this is the bathroom. Um, it did come with a washing machine. We paid extra for the washing machine. Never used it. Uh, it uses so much of our fresh water. Um, and so we pulled it out. So Chelsea actually made a laundry basket uh, that we have in there um, to store all our laundry in. So what is your plan for the next few months? Well, we're going to start out on the 1st of January and travel down to the south of the North Island. We're going to go to Marlborough and then we'll be going to Wellington for a week. We used to live in Wellington, so there's a few people we want to catch up with. That'd be fun. Yeah, and then I guess across the ferry mid-Jan sometime maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe when things are a bit quieter down there mm. in the yeah. sort of Nelson, the, you know, that area as well. Yeah. Um, so avoid the Christmas rush. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Try to. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, make our way slowly across to Nelson. We want to go over the hill to Golden Bay and all around there. And then... Well, that, there's, yeah. um, there's a, a decent windy, steep road there. <laughs> yeah. So that, I think that you've got to film that. Part. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah. Yeah. Get mixed opinions from people like that, <laughs> yeah, whether or not yeah. to tow over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like it's well worth going over there. Though. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll go over there and then we we'll either go down the west coast from there or down the east, we're not sure. And yeah, yeah we kind of don't have hard and fast plans. Yeah, just a long, way to go. Yeah, yeah. long list of places to go to. And You're tricking me. You're teasing me. Table there, which is quite nice. The 12 volt power out here as well for charging stuff, which is. Yeah, Australian caravans are all about outside living. So you know, you'll have the the barbecue outlet, you'll have the the tray for outside living, the the power cord. You know, it's all about being outside your caravan in Australia. So lovely getting to know the whole family a little bit more and can't wait to watch their journey around the South Island. What? <laughs> I actually might 